When are you having a colitis flare? You know, that's a difficult question, right? Well, maybe not really. If you're taking one to two craps a day, and then all of a sudden you move towards four to ten, I think most of us would consider that a colitis flare, right? But let's say you're lucky enough to have gotten over your flare, and things are going pretty good, like one to three craps per day. You know, then all of a sudden, you have a pretty horrible bowel movement out of nowhere. Is that a flare? You know, I guess it depends on what happens later on that day or night and the next few days, right? You know, for me, I've been doing the one to two nice craps per day for weeks, but I just finished a nasty one. I call them astastrophes. That's right. Good old Adam here, preaching that everything is going just great, has just had a nasty one. No blood at all, but definitely nothing hard in the stool or bowel, for that matter. So let me tell you the rest of the story. It's pretty interesting if you're not repulsed so far. And please realize this moment that the nastiest parts of this post are over. Or should I say, in my opinion. Today I met a good friend, Jackson, for lunch. He's actually taken Humira for his arthritis. Strange, ain't it? I took Humira for my colitis. And right after I started having arthritis problems. Anyway, we went to a restaurant called, whatever, not important, in San Fran. It's down on the Embarcadero, which is one of the main drags next to the water. It's in the ferry building. And if anyone reads this site and is in San Fran, feel free to email me, and I'll be happy to take you there. My treat. Just one thing. I surely won't be eating what I had today with you. Here it is. This is what both of us ordered. Braised pork shoulder with seasoned seaweed, broccoli, mushrooms, whatever else. Nothing here is too bad as far as my diet's concerned. I definitely don't eat much rice, so that's the obvious no-no, but there's more to the story. This restaurant serves Acme Bakery bread and sweet butter. That's the free stuff on the table. So you're probably guessing what good old Adam did for lunch today. That's right. I took a few pieces of bread and made them into spoons and dug out a ton of that sweet butter and chowed down on that stuff. Of course, my buddy, he was asking me, is this okay for you to be eating the bread? My response, not really, but it won't kill me. Well, that's right and wrong. I'm not planning on dying tonight from breaking my colitis diet and having a few pieces of bread and you know from some rice, but I can confirm the toilet bowl looked pretty nasty. The nastiest work I've done in the bathroom in a few months now. What do I think was the deal? The bread along with the rice was a bad combo for me, period. Am I 100% positive? Hell no. But was it the first time I had a decent quantity of bread in a long time? Yeah. So what's the point of this? Well, I'm not trying to say that I've figured out the ulcerative colitis gods. Not at all. I'm not trying to tell anyone to never eat bread. Not at all. And nobody even has to pay any attention to this idea ever again. Those decisions are up to each one of us to make. Nobody's ever forced me to eat anything, except a few of them nasty Brussels sprouts when I was little. And everything is a choice when it comes time for meals. I surely learned a nice little lesson in the bathroom several hours after lunch today. It's a colitis mistake I'll probably make hundreds more times before I die. And yeah, it's a common case of willpower and knowing what's good and what's not for the body. My ulcerative colitis, it's not an emotional decision maker. It's running inside of me 24-7. When I keep it locked down and asleep, I win. When I let it act up after eating things my body can't handle, it wins. That's right. So, if you want to see the rest, go right to the site, IHaveUC.com, because I have ulcerative colitis, and guess what? It sucks, but not as much as Humir and Asicol, and the nasty stuff you have to drink before the colonoscopy, and the bogus enemas you shove up your duty hole. Diet saved me.
And you better believe I'm not the only one. Have a good day, guys.